We're going to cool off our brains here just a few minutes after those great standard and extended labs, and we have plenty more lab work coming with NAND ACLs and some other types as well, time-based ACLs, and I believe we've got one other one in there as well. However, right now, let's go back and take a look at some of the options that we saw in iOS Help but we did not use during that particular lab. And I'm just going to call up access list 17, and we'll do a permit. And of course, I'm matching here on only the source IP address. That's the only option I'm going to have because it's a standard ACL. And I wanted to show you what that host and any choices were all about. I think I went ahead and described them a little bit, but I want to put them in one particular video here together. As far as any goes, that's any source host, and that is one you're going to use most often when you're doing a permit any to negate the implicit deny. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with typing really any address in here and then putting a mask of 255, 255, 255, 255. What the word any is replacing is a wildcard mask of all ones, because literally, you're looking at a wildcard mask where every bit is an I don't care bit. So it almost doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter what you would put here as long as you have a 32-bit wildcard mask set. And again, it's not something you're going to do terribly often outside of permit any. And there's nothing, again, wrong with using the wildcard mask of all ones. But frankly, it does save you some typing. <laughs> it saves you some typing, and frankly, in Cisco documentation, this is the way you're going to see it 99.9% .9 of the time. And I, the only reason I'm not saying 100% is I'm sure there's one of their PDFs out there where they write the wildcard mask out for any, but it's rarely done in production and, frankly, rarely done on your exam as well. But again, be ready to recognize that the wildcard mask set to all ones represents any matches anything is literally you have 32 I don't care bets now on the other end of the spectrum maybe we want to deny a specific IP address and if I were going to deny the source 172.111 it's pulling that out of my hat and I put my wildcard bits here what am I going to put if I want it to match only 172.111 right again absolutely nothing wrong with this but what you can also do is use the word host to replace the wildcard mask of all zeros, where every bit is an I care bit. But you'll notice, just a little oddity here, we see iOS help for deny and then the address, and we've got wildcard bits, and we've got log matches against this entry, and then you know create carriage return. I say create once in a while, but it's carriage return. So 172.111, where's the host option? The host option, oddly enough, has to go in front of the address, just like that. So what you would do there, again, if you're using the wildcard bits, it comes after the address. If you're using the word host to represent the wildcard mask of all zeros, it does go in front of the address. That's really all there is to host in any. Again, any represents a wildcard mask or replaces a wildcard mask of all ones, host, replaces a mask of all zeros where you're matching on one particular address and one address only. I uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and go to a little exercise I had set up for you here on watching the order of your ACL lines. Now you saw some numbers earlier in front of our access list lines when we ran show IP access list. Remember that 10 and the 20? Those are sequence numbers, and I have a separate lab set up for you on those because, boy, sequence numbers are a lifesaver. But before we get to that, I want us to spend a minute or two here talking about watching the order of the ACL lines because just getting one line out of place wrecks everything. And if you have an ACL, let's say, you want it to deny traffic from 172.18.18.0 slash 24 while allowing traffic from any other subnet, you know, that's going to be one or two lines, right? I mean, if you remember the implicit deny, literally it's going to be a, a two-line ACL. But even if you get the two lines out of order, it can, there can be a big problem. So what I'd like you to do is tell me which of these ACLs actually does the job of denying 172.18.18.0 slash 24 and then allowing everything else. And you should be able to tell me or an interviewer or a Cisco on your exam, you should be able to tell them exactly what's wrong with the other three. So go ahead and pause the video, especially the first time you've seen it, go through the exercise. But right now we're going to go from top to bottom and examine each one. Now, first off, I guess I'm not going top to bottom first. 
first off, the numbers are all fine. You know, 17, 18, 19, 20, those are standard ACL numbers, and there's no problem there. If any of these on a practice exam question or a real exam question, uh, if it said access list 177, deny and then just showed the source address we know that's an illegal command you couldn't even do that because you would have to put something for the destination even if it was any but here these are all standard acls and they're all numbered correctly so no problem there going from top to bottom i'm kind of spoiling the surprise because the top one is the correct one and we've got access list 17 deny 172 18 18 zero then a wild card mask which is saying it must match on the first three octets exactly, 172, 18, 18, and then the last octet, we don't care because the wild card mask is set to 0, 0, 0, 255. The entire octet, the fourth octet, is set to ones. So if that's so great, Chris, what's wrong with the other three? Well, let me tell you about that second one, and this is one you got to watch. Permit any at the top and then a deny statement. Well, it, it's correctly written you know, the deny statement. It's using the wildcard mask there, but what's the net effect of that? I know I keep coming back to that phrase, net effect, but that's what you've got to do once you're done with an ACL is go from top to bottom and say, okay, what am I allowing? What am I denying? And here, you're allowing everything with the first line. So under what circumstances will that second line ever be read? Under no circumstances, that's how that second line is going to be read. Remember, this isn't a routing table where the entire table is going to be gone through and we're looking for the best match. With an ACL, we're just looking for a match. And everything matches any <laughs> when it's in a standard ACL. So you've got access list 18, permit any. That first line matches everything, and the second line is never read. So that would not do the job for us. Now, that third one, you know, looks pretty good. We've got our permit any at the second line, and the deny is on the first line. But it looks like instead of a wildcard mask, we have a subnet mask or a network mask. We've got 255.000. Well, if that's a wildcard mask, that means the first octet doesn't matter, and we're only matching on the last three. And that is, that is rarely, if ever, going to happen. And it's definitely not happening here. So anytime you see a wildcard mask in a practice exam, real exam, job interview, doesn't matter, uh, that looks like a network or subnet mask, it's probably wrong. And finally, the last one, you know, that is just really messed up. It is a total mess because, first off, you've got to permit any at the beginning of it, and then the deny statement is miswritten anyway. So ain't nothing good about that last one uh, or my English. But, again, access list 17 is the right one here. It's the only one that matches those requirements. And just a couple of words here about the order of your ACLs, and we're going to revisit this when we do the sequence numbers. But when you're writing an ACL, General, what uh, A rule of thumb that has worked for me over the years, and I, I know it'll work well for you as well, is that I'm going specific to general when I'm writing an ACL. And that means if I, you know, specifically I am permitting certain hosts or subnets near the top or I'm denying them, then I'm allowing everything else. What you will genu generally see, whether you're denying or permitting, is that at the top lines of an ACL will be naming hosts or subnets and it gets more general as you go down until you finally get to, okay, here's how to handle anything that doesn't match the top lines. So again, specific to general is a good rule of thumb when it comes to your ACL configuration. And speaking of which, we are gonna write some more ACLs coming up. We're gonna talk about why we needed named ACLs in the first place, because it looks like we have plenty of numbers. And then you're gonna see exactly how to write one and to apply one, and that is coming up next.